What are some do's and don'ts with your hands? Definitely don'ts. Don't put your hands in your pockets, especially males. Don't do it. Take your hands out of your pockets. Uh, don't handcuff yourself. The next thing is don't do this Adam and Eve type speeches. Or, or the last thing is this, don't let your hands meet each other because then the fidgeting, playing with the nails, all sorts of stuff is happening. But it's not about me, it's about the audience. So it's their story, their mindset that they're making up. If I'm standing like this, people say, oh, he's a bit arrogant or he looks too relaxed or he thinks he's already got the deal or whatever. It is. I'm gonna give you three distinct hand gestures. Number one, count. So when you show numbers and use your fingers counting, people actually can follow along, especially when you transition. Second thing is, look at this, divide the room. This is a brilliant hand gesture, especially if you're in sales or wanna show opposing facts. Here's the pros and here's the cons. You don't have to do it like that. You can just say, look, the pros are X, Y, and Z. But if you look at the cons on the other hand, when you talk, talk on this side and then talk on this side. Whatever you feel natural, the tip is slow down. The more you can slow down your body language, the more in control you would look. 